to unzip that folder okay those who have downloaded this particular fritzing uh, software they can use the winzip or winrar to extract all the files so right click on it and use extract here okay so when you click on this extract here you can see this particular fritzing 0.93b64pc is created right here so this folder is created right here okay all of you quickly give your response while extracting all the files you are able to see this particular folder all of you quickly give your response this particular folder is showing in your pc okay now okay so now you double click on this particular folder so those who have extracted this particular uh, folder then you can use this particular applications which is present right here okay so every time when you want to open the fritzing software you have to use this particular application okay double click on it okay when you double click on this particular application you will find the fritzing software is uh, loading okay so you can see right here there is a pop up message this particular fritzing is loading now you can see the complete desktop window of this fritzing software okay on the right hand side of this fritzing software you will find all the components okay uh, if there is some components uh, that uh, you required are not available in this particular uh, core parts then you can import those files also okay so how to import those components which are not present in this library so this is uh, a option right here okay this is a option right here import okay you have to click on this option then there is import option right here you have to click on import okay so you download the component from internet or the resource center and you can use those components for the library so here we can use fzb file okay or you can also use uh, when i have downloaded this uh, particular file in download this esp32 development kit with the extension of fzpz okay so this fzpz should be your extension for the any board okay clear so if you have downloaded the resources from the resource folder you can use uh, import function to import into the library okay uh, we are using this esp32 development kit for uh, the designing of your iot systems so the fridging software consists of only one part so this uh, software uh, is for the demonstration only okay right now you are at your home place and we are sitting at the chandigarh university okay all the hardwares are present in this particular lab okay and you cannot physically touch all the components and you cannot physically see how these components are connected through breadboard to that particular circuit okay so this esp32 module is present you can use uh, the use this particular system okay or use particular uh, this software to see all the connections which are present right here okay so you can uh, place uh, esp32 module on the breadboard and you can make different uh, uh, connections through the sensors on that particular esp32 module okay clear so you have to open the file like this if you have already stored all the uh, projects 
uh, in your phrasing software, you can open that using this file option. So this already created pro, uh, project is loading right now. And you can see in this particular uh, window that we have placed a different component on the breadboard. So you know very well that uh, these horizontal lines of a breadboard are connected with each other. Okay. Whereas uh, the vertical lines uh, inside these uh, two horizontal lines are connected vertically. Okay. So these uh, two lines are connected vertically. Okay. If you make any connection at this po particular point, all the connections are sorted together. Okay. Uh, in this breadboard, these uh, two are connected with each other. Okay. So we have to place ESP32 module on the breadboard and we have to make some connections with the help of these sensors. Okay. So when you uh, scroll your uh, mouse, you will find the component name. Okay. Or caption is to be presented on the particular board so right now i have scrolled my uh, this particular mouse and you can see esp32 development kit is shown right here okay so this is your module you can see it by i i am enlarging it you can see it right now so this esp32 module having a different pins okay it has input pin ground pin okay data input pin okay so these 13 14 12 or we can uh, we can connect all these uh, peripherals through these data lines okay and there are some bcc points there are some ground point or there are some uh, data transmissions or data receiver lines also there is a wi-fi module present on board uh, so that's why we are preferring this ESP32 module to perform IoT operations. Okay. In an, another board, uh, this ESP32 module is not present. Okay. That's why uh, we are choosing this particular ESP32 module. Okay. Uh, you have already completed some program on Arduino UNO board, but in Arduino UNO, you need uh, to install this particular. Uh, Wi-Fi module or a Bluetooth module. Okay, so we are preferring this ESP32 module because uh, already this uh, particular Wi-Fi module is present inside it. Okay, so this is an overview of the breadboard as well as the components how you can place on this uh, on the breadboard. Okay. Quickly, give me a response in chat. Are you able to see this any dot till now? So first of all, I have to close this um, uh, particular uh, camera, which I am using right now. Okay. So I have to close it first. So in my BB, in my BB, I have to close this webcam. Then in the PC lab, I have to start this webcam okay so you can see the picture okay right here and uh, sir please start yes and you can see the hardware picture which is present in the lab this is the particular uh, ESP32 board which we are going to use okay for IOT applications okay we have connected this particular LED to the pin number and give that particular program which you have already used for LED blinking. Okay. So LED blinking program is shown right here. So same thing is uh, to be performed in Tinkercad also. Okay. But in Tinkercad, this ESP32 module is not present. We have performed this uh, BEEPLE experiment in Arduino UNO board. Okay, so you can control the hardware also. You can control the hardware also. 
so you have to take the permission and uh, you have to uh, select the particular window right here okay so you can check or you can switch in between the group then you can start any of the uh, search select group uh, request send kar diya maine request chahiye aapko accept kar liya aapne okay so first of all uh, you have to click on this uh, view option and you you can see there is a request for controlling the hardware okay so i have made the request to control the hardware then in a lab sir has approved it and right now i can control any of the program from this device okay when i click on this arduino so this arduino software is opening in lab pc okay i am using my pc but right now this uh, particular program which i which i am writing right here is shown from the university campus okay so you can control your device okay from your home through this particular zoom app okay so right now i am dividing you into groups okay i am closing this zoom app okay uh, this is a pc number 11 screen okay 